Leslie's Lessons. So today I want to talk about the come see me guy, the come see me girl. They portray themselves when you are in need. Um, They're the ones that's going to make it happen for you. They tell you that. They really sell you on anything you need. I can put you in the right place with the right people. I got you. And oftentimes, you want to trust someone or at least give them an opportunity to prove that what they say, they really can come through with their word. And I don't know if this has happened to you, but for me, I'll say many, many times. Even if it wasn't a business opportunity, a job interview, hey, I got you. I'll put in a good word for you. Only to find out that person actually, instead of saying something good, said thumbs down. And I found that I could either go through life keeping account of how many times this has happened and see myself as someone who just doesn't attract genuine people or people that are real, you know, the decision maker, the plug. Or I could say, you know what? Maybe the universe is saying you are not meant to be that person whose story is I open the door for her. Sometimes your story is, I don't know how I did it, but I found the key to open that door myself. And sometimes it will not look like that. You will be so far off for years. You could be so close, but maybe your mindset of thinking positive wavers. It's always a different dynamic and it's never the same. So if you find yourself at a place where it's like, man, I remember so many times when someone said they got me. Someone said, I'll buy your product. I will support you. I will put you in touch with this person. I'll get the background dancers or the models for your product. I'll get the people to show up to your club or to your event. I'll get the customers. I'll get the followers. I'll get this. I'll do that. Nothing. Then you find yourself frustrated and really not feeling like you could trust anyone. Sometimes you could just feel like maybe you're not meant to do this. You see success and you see things happening for other people. But when it comes to you, it's just rejection or just quiet. But what I've learned is you have to keep your eyes on the prize. You really do have to stay focused because the moment you get stuck on the story, you get stuck on the lack of productivity or that person, that person who promised, who pinky sweared, swore to God, said it in front of other people and didn't come through. The moment you commit to that game, that rejection, that going nowhere fast and just telling yourself, I guess this is it. I'm still waiting in my mind for closure. You're done. The more defined your vision is, the more powerful and passion you have for your dreams, no matter what it is in this world, you will be tested. You will be tested. And it's up to you 
to say to yourself, am I going to be distracted by this person not coming through for me? Or I'm going to remember I'm in control of my life. Am I going to remember I'm in control? Because the moment you just focus on that person just being full of it, that person who swore, you know, how is it ever going to happen? You never had anything guaranteed. You never had anything guaranteed. It was just talk. Of course, it it sounds great at the moment because they were on stage, they were performing. Some people in life, even if they have good intentions, they just like to hear themselves talk. They like to position themselves as that person, the main character who makes things happen. You ever go out with a bunch of people and the one who's a loud talker ordering the drinks and everything like that and are just extra for no reason. And then when they come to bring the check, that's not the person that's paying the check. Usually the quiet one. It's the slow and steady person that's paying the check. The one who's not flashy, really making too much eye contact with you. They're just more reserved. And bam, they're the one that's covering the track. People like to hear themselves sound important. They like to hear themselves sound like the hero in your life. They don't necessarily want to live up to it, but they like to be seen as it. And that's all you have at the end of the day. Someone with an inflated ego who has no power, no connections, or has no confidence, or doesn't have as much confidence as they think they do, and is really willing to help you, or is that person that can really help you? There are many other ways to get there. I can't say I know your journey because I'm still discovering mine. But what I do know is that you can't let the so-called heroes, the the so-called plugs, the people who just like to hear themselves speak. Yes, let me be the one to help you. I can help you. I can put you in touch with this person, that person. And it's just not the truth. Shake it off. Shake it out your head. And you will be surprised the vigor, the motivation that comes out of you by just saying to yourself, you know what, I'm not even going to put in my head anymore who I will hope makes my dreams come true. The moment you get that out of your head and you get out of your way, you will be surprised the true power and strength that you have already for yourself, the confidence you have, the abilities that you have, the capabilities that you have for yourself. But it won't come easy. It won't come easier if you are still focused on being let down by people. I know some people make it. You look and you're like, how did that person get that fancy sports car, that mansion? And how did that happen for them? I'm a good person. I don't hurt people intentionally. I mind my business. How come it happens for them and not me? I don't know. And we don't really know the story of other people. And even if we did, it has nothing to do with us. We're all individuals. Everyone has something unique about them. 
something that no one on earth has exactly like you. And I think if we focus more on what we can do with our own power, with our own belief in ourselves, even if we don't have many resources or plugs or connections, the hot air heroes in our lives, maybe that's not a bad thing. Sometimes I believe the universe gets all of these distractions out of your way by having them waste your time, by having them reject you, by having you having to stay still, having to stay still and figure it out on your own. This is not a punishment. This is your beginning. Leslie's Lessons